In today's video, I will be going through animals in Africa, versus animals in Asia, and I'll be trying to guess who would win in a fight. Of course it's my opinion, and you can make your own in the comments. Starting with two species of badger, the Japanese badger and the honey badger. Now the Japanese badger is endemic to Japan. In Japanese their name translate to whole bear, Japanese badgers are generally solitary, than the European badgers. Similar to other badgers, the Japanese badger's diet is omnivorous, it includes earthworms, beetles, and berries. Over in Africa, there's another badger known as the honey badger. Although this badger can be found in some parts of Asia, and the Middle East, but it's mainly found in Africa. It's primarily a carnivorous species preying on anything it can find, because as I'm sure many of you they are very aggressive, they are known to fight hyenas, lions, and leopards. But if these animals meet, who exactly would win in a fight? The Japanese badger has an average weight around 7.5 kilograms to 17 pounds, while the honey badger has an average weight around 12 kilograms to 26 pounds. For me this round is easy, cause the honey badger is larger, aggressive, and intelligent. Even though the honey badger can be found in Asia, it must score one point to Africa. For our next two species, African elephant, and Asian elephant. There are two living African elephant species, the African bush elephant, and the African forest elephant. The African bush elephant is tends to be a little larger, African bush elephant, or African savanna elephant is the largest living terrestrial animal, with bulls reaching a shoulder height of up to 3.96 m and a body mass of up to 10.4 t. Their range spans a variety of habitats, from the open savanna to the desert, and can be found in most African countries. Unfortunately, this animal is heavily affected by poachers. And this is lead to the species being listed as endangered. The most interesting part about elephants is their trunks. These trunks are extremely strong and flexible. As they are so large, most predators don't tend to attack them. But some predators like lions will go after their young, luckily elephants are very caring. Of course Asia has its own species of elephant, the Asian elephant. It's the largest land animal in Asia. One of the easiest way to tell them apart is the fact they have smaller ears. If these two elephant were to meet, who would win in a fight? Well, the African bush elephant is a little larger, the average African elephant weigh between 6,000 kilograms to 13,220 pounds. Asian elephants weigh 4,000 kilograms to 8,800 pounds male African elephants tends to be very aggressive and as they are so much larger, I think it's an easy decision. So for this round, two points to Africa. Hit that subscribe button, if you haven't subscribed, well, shame on you. For our next two species, are the Siberian tiger, and the African lion. The Siberian tiger or Amur tiger is the largest tiger species and it's most commonly found in Russia, Northeast China and possibly North Korea. This big cat used to have a much larger range, but due to poaching and habitat loss, their numbers aren't that strong as they used to be. But hopefully this can turn around in the future. Because the Siberian tiger can be found in some cold climates. It's the only tiger species that can survive in extreme cold, and has developed a thick layer of fur. And their prey can be sometimes be as large as moose and brown bears. They're the apex predator in their native range. The same could be said to another big cat, the African lion. Nearly all lions live in Africa, of course the African lion is a social species and form groups called prides. Prides are family units that may comprise anywhere from 2 to 40 lions, including up to the 3 or 4 males, a dozen or so females, and their young. All of a pride's lionesses are related, and female cubs typically stay with the group as they age. Lions are highly adaptable and can live in very dry areas like the Kalahari Desert. Here they get most of their water from their prey and will even drink from plants such as the Tsamamelon. If you do live in Africa, and you are scared of lions, it's best to not venture out during storms. Lions enjoy hunting during storms as the noise and the wind makes it harder for their prey to see them and hear them. If these two big kitties were to meet, who will win? African lions weigh from 330 to 550 pounds, 150 to 250 kilograms. 
Siberian tigers weighed 660 pounds. If a pride of lion were to take a tiger, then the tiger wouldn't stand a chance. A Siberian tiger can take down brown bears. If it was, the tiger would definitely win. So I'm scoring one point to Asia. So African animals is the winner. And if you have any other locations you want me to do, then also let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe.